to uh, say about this uh, database migration only. Uh, this this migration today is we going to uh, using DMS uh, database migrant assistant uh, sorry service tool uh, is one of the uh, Azure service. We're going to use this and uh, uh, migrate our data from on-prem to uh, Azure SQL Server. Okay, first we need to uh, actually the process is same. Uh, whatever we do in this uh, DMA before task uh, data migrant assistant using that and uh, data uh, migrate uh, service also same, but it, this is the uh, inbuilt of an Azure services, uh, not like that. A DMA, DMA is a, uh, just like we download from it uh, from micro, uh, Microsoft uh, uh, Microsoft site and uh, you just install it like an app and use it. But uh, here, this is not like that. This is exactly using um, like a, how can we say like a, all, all other cloud services like that. We can uh, using this uh, database migrate as services. Then uh, first we need to uh, create the two virtual machine here, VM1 and, and uh, another two VM2. This uh, consider uh, VM1 as an on-frames SQL server and uh, uh, consider as uh, VM2 as an SQL server on uh, Azure VM. Okay. Then we move, to, uh, move, move on the step one. Just be uh, just create the on-prem environment and download the uh, some basic required softwares like SSM. As and uh, SQL Server. In uh, moreover, uh, last two, uh, two videos we um, we discussed about that. Uh, how can we download and install those things? Just uh, once again, I repeat again, uh, the, those things. Just go to the uh, server and download this latest version. You don't need to. Uh, if some some other particular cases only, you can exactly pick out uh, pick out some uh, this uh, release only. We can be going to use this release only. For other uh, some basic users, you can use the advanced only. Uh, uh, just click the developer version and uh, select uh, install. Start the installation. Just select the database engine uh, service. After that, uh, just uh, moving to the next part. Next slide. Just uh, give the uh, named instance. Uh, already previous slide I also uh, told about that named instance is our server name only. After that. Uh, we can give the uh, select the authentication mode here. Then we can give the password for this. Both uh, enter the password and reconfirm the password, and uh, uh, just add the current user here. Then after that, uh, the user is added. Just click OK. Then if you want to change the directory, uh, if you want to change the root directory or anything else, you can change here. Then um, moving to the next part, uh, just finalize uh, review and uh, just click uh, install. Review and install. After the installation process complete, uh, you can get the succeed message uh, like this. If, if the installation complete succeed, uh, just uh, then we uh, create uh, just download and install the Microsoft SQL uh, Server Management Studio. After that uh, installation of just dub, uh, double click installation micro uh, SSMS. Just click it and uh, it's uh, required only two more minutes. Within a couple of minutes, it will be complete this uh, installation. Then after that, go to the um, Go to the Microsoft, uh, just start button and just click uh, select the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 18. Uh, then move on to after that, start that uh, you can get this uh, like a pop up. Then just you can give the server name here. Just you need to give the VM name backslash and your server name in the server name. Else, if you're not uh, aware about that, means just give the dot backslash and give your uh, server name and just select the SQL ser uh, service authentication and uh, just log in using this SA is a default password here and give our password whatever we, we will create during this uh, SQL creation. Then uh, just create the database or else you can use uh, a Microsoft Adventure uh, database OLATP something there. You can use that and just import that thing uh, here just for the sample purpose. Uh, though that's why I just uh, create a simple table here. Then after that execute, it's successfully executed, ready to uh, just insert some more, uh, some more information to their uh, this uh, table. After that, we want to just uh, using this Azure database migration service, just go to the uh, Microsoft Azure page uh, portal, then just click this uh, search for and type Azure database migra migration service. Just click OK. Uh, just uh, sorry, just click create and uh, 
just uh, be, give out the some basic details about all those things like uh, subscription migration name location service mode uh, service mode here we need to select that uh, azure only uh, we did not using the hy uh, hybrid because this is a hybrid we can use but it's in the preview uh, we can right now we uh, in this uh, task we required azure just select azure then click next then click uh, select the networking part uh, for, uh, for this uh, I'm, i want to uh, intimate one thing again uh, for this if you before uh, yesterday i'm uh, just uh, talk about this uh, s2s means uh, side to side uh, tunneling uh, side to side uh, and point to side connections if this uh, connections establish only we can uh, using this it will be working successfully uh, after that sts connection you can get this uh, like a VPN and side to side connection that everything is fine. Uh, just select the uh, things uh, which one we, uh, you want to select this existing network and uh, or else create a new network to select those things. Then after that just click uh, review and create then after that uh, DMS is ready uh, now ready. This is a, a home page of the migra migration service. Actually this uh, just we can see about our uh, basic information here. Then we moving to give the uh, project name and just here we need to click uh, cl uh, click new migrate projects. Just uh, we can using this uh, two mode of uh, projects we can able to work in this uh, DMS means online and offline. Uh, here we going to the uh, just select the offline mode. There uh, just if you click the new migration project, you can give the migration projects name. And uh, source type and target type. Uh, where you exactly, uh, where, where where your uh, source is uh, located, and where you are going to uh, move this uh, things. So we here we can select this SQL Server and uh, just select that Azure SQL Virtual Machine is our target, and select that activities mode is offline mode. Then just click create, and after that, click create. Just we need to uh, again we come back and uh, to the portal. You can see the whatever you name you created. Like uh, here you can see uh, this project name is migration. Uh, we giving there. Uh, just if we, uh, you can see there after the this page downside you can migration. You can able to see. Just go to the just click on the, uh, the double click on that migration. You can get the select source server target and source database configuration like the DMA everything is there. But this this is Azure exact uh, inbuilt service of an Azure uh, like uh, this select the server name. This is my server name. Uh, this is my server 01 is my uh, on-prem server name. Just why I'm giving these things and give this uh, SQL authentication SS and uh, password for those things. Uh, If we select this uh, trusted certificate uh, for that, uh, we need to create a certificate for those things. If it, if we did not create any certificate, you getting this uh, like this uh, error. For those things, you need to create this certificate. Uh, below mentioned uh, these things or already in previous video, I already explained about this. How can we create the certificate and everything? All those things. Even though I explain once uh, once more again. Uh, just uh, this is the code for those things. Just click it. Uh, just copy this and thing paste in this uh, PowerShell. You can get a create in this uh, certificate and go to the certificate manager. You can download it and wherever you use uh, want to use, just use that uh, export the exported certificate. Just click on. Uh, just go to the create run button and, and uh, go to the certificate manager page and download export those things. Here you can just use the current user. And uh, these all those things happen inside the certificate manager. That's why I'm uh, showing this picture. How can we export the certificate? Uh, just click the paste uh, personal certificate. And uh, these are the uh, steps we're going to do that. This uh, open the certificate manager, then uh, start run my MMC means uh, certificate manager, or else just uh, uh, this is a short form for this is to quickly uh, access it. Just go to the file and add remove the snap in and double click on the uh, certificate. 
and select your computer account local uh, just com select the computer account nothing but this is uh, already we selected a current user or else uh, uh, local local machine like that yes this is our certificate means just go to uh, select it and go to all task and uh, use export then click next here and uh, yes uh, export the private key if you don't know want uh, no uh, select no then you can select this dot uh, pfx format uh, some in some cases we need a dot ce or uh, paste certificate for those cases we, we know uh, just uh, in front of these things we just select no means this both cases are enabled if you want uh, p pfx you just give the x s s then only you can just download this uh, uh, pfx thing just after click ok then just give the password just uh, take the password type and uh, give the password here once password is confirmed if the certificate is downloaded Uh, check it once again uh, the port are uh, enabled some of the uh, important ports be required to enable like that uh, port 1433 if you did not enable those port you getting this like uh, kind of error after the completion of those things also mm, for those things uh, we enable the uh, inbound activities like uh, 1433 tcp uh, and uh, 1434 and uh, uh, UDP 1434 and um, port 3342 and public. Uh, these are some of the important ports required. Uh, this is uh, port access by the uh, DMS. That's why it's uh, most important. Uh, then again, you go to the services, just uh, uh, start button and go to the services and just uh, check it once this SQL server or everything or in this running state or not. If it's in the running state, it will only we can able to access it. You don't have an um, the running state. Uh, we can't able to uh, start up the uh, start the server. We can't able to connect. This uh, these are some of the steps. How can we enable the ports? Like uh, just go to this there. Uh, here I'm showing you guys uh, about the inbound rules. How can we add? Just go to the inbound rules and just click the uh, create new rule. Just you can getting this things if you want to customize go to the customized just uh, here we're going to change in the port model just we uh, just click out this port and uh, and uh, select the uh, uh, rule what what uh, whatever we, we are going to apply like a tcp or else udp uh, if it is uh, just all port just click on the all port if you want a specific for local ports uh, just give in the specific local port and give that uh, number like uh, here, I'm going to select the TCP and special port is number is 1433. Just click on that and next and give the name for those things. Allow this connection, give the allow for this connection or whatever you're doing this and um, click OK. So, and there's three domains, rules, uh, domain, private, public uh, for all those things. Just click OK. Then after that, give the name for those, uh, what this rule name and give the no name and save these things. Again, come to the SQL Server Configuration Manager, and once again, we're going to check all those uh, are running properly or not. If they all all those are running and TCP and pipes are enabled, check uh, check it out once again. Just go with this SQL uh, Server Network Configuration. Just TCP enabled or not? See in this uh, next slide, I'm showing this about this. Go to the Protocol Server 101, shared memory and the name pipes, the TCP IP. These are enabled here. Uh, this is nothing but just uh, whatever just uh, name name for giving these rules uh, in this two slide before we giving this uh, 1433 is our uh, uh, TCP port no? the, that just we give that uh, that's why here we can just create that uh, give the name for TCP portal and uh, just click OK for the to finish it. Uh, here then I am giving this, this is extra thing, uh, just go to the custom and IP, IC, MPOR or enable for this uh, pinking uh, confirmation and do those things. Then if you come back again, you can, uh, this source is directed now. 
just uh, do the again select the source just it move to the select target uh, here uh, we can give the uh, target vm name means uh, the vm in this as you uh, just vm2 is my uh, vm name and backslash and server name is server02 and select the authentication mode and uh, username and give the password for those things then just click uh, select next here only one database only here created the jk only the detector from the source side uh, so that's why uh, just click out the jkk and uh, just click on uh, network share uh, this is a network share path uh, in this dma we already saw, saw about this network share path and uh, uh, all those things just uh, recall those things and uh, create the network share file and uh, give that file path here and just click uh, just next summary give there and uh, a project's name uh, for our this migration we're going to give this migration project one that's why this is a server name and target server version and source everything or summary is displayed here and start migration give the start migration this is uh, like this uh, you getting this migration after that jkk is um, completed the migration status will be succeed target database figure will be uh, like if we go to the target uh, means azure sql we can find those things like uh, this is our previous code here this is our migrated code here jkk he's my migrated code here there uh, that's it guys about this uh, dms task uh, anybody have uh, any doubt on those task uh, anything we need to uh, ret uh, retake of this session guys No, sir. Okay, guys. Okay, if you have any doubt, means uh, this video is available in this uh, Teams. If you check it out once again. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, let's stop this recording.